Elio D'Amato joins you from Stockopedia. Elio, how's it looking? Well, Raf, the all orderies is up about 0.1% this morning. It feels like the world is collectively holding its breath. And uh, no, it's not because you'll be hanging around for another hour covering the debate, Raf, but because the debate itself is obviously of interest. Um, who knows what could come out? Uh, but it's, uh, you know, but I suspect there won't be anything unknown. So it'll all be carry on for most of us. Um, I think that US inflation number due out tonight, our time, will actually have more of an impact um, on markets, that is. Uh, as for overnight, tech stocks led the way, whereas here domestically, we're all more focused on commodities and oil, which coincidentally got smacked again overnight, um, oil that is, uh, on growing concerns over the fall in demand due to some downbeat news on the US and China economies. Unsurprisingly, we also saw iron ore prices fall as well. Uh, this pessimism extended to other base metals as well, including copper, but it didn't stop gold on its march towards recent all-time highs. And the Aussie dollar is steady at 66.5 US cents, a fraction lower uh, than this time yesterday. Um, our best sector this morning is materials, and it's basically one stock, or a couple stocks actually, but mainly one, uh, in regards to uh, mineral resources, who after market yesterday confirmed that they'd received FIRB approval uh, for the sale of its Onslow Iron Ore, uh, Iron Ore Hall Road, I'll say that quickly, uh, to Morgan Stanley Infrastructure Partners for some $1.3 billion. Now, the company also said that it has other levers to pull, if necessary, in the route um, that is occurring in the commodity space at the moment. The stock's up some 21% at the moment. Um, our worst sector today is energy. Uh, all those oil and coal stocks can't take a trick, really. And in other corporate news, we heard from uh, Newmont Mining, uh, who delivered last night confirmation that it had found a buyer for its Tesla operations in WA and its 70% interest in the Havion Gold Copper project that it has and related interests, of course. Um, now, the, that said, they're going to receive $475 million US for the acquisition in gold and stock um, from, uh, or they're selling it to UK-based Greenland Gold. Now, the stock is up some 1.38% at the moment. And we reported a week ago that REA is making a play or likely to make a play for right move in a script and cash offer. Now, that was confirmed last night. It's around uh, 705 pence or 11 uh, per share or $11 billion uh, at current exchange rates. Now, uh, if that deal gets through, uh, there will be a dual UK listing of REA groups. So those... Uh, UK shareholders can get out if they want to, uh, plus they'll still be entitled to their dividend. But as you would expect, the vendor has rejected the first bid, so there will need to be uh, a little bit more in regards to negotiations before this is settled. The stock is down 1.76% at the moment. And that was all in our market open, Raf. Thank you very much, Elio D'Amato there at Stockopedia.